Yo, I'm Dap Nash, dropping another review on y'all. And this time, what we're gonna be doing review of is the BAM. It's a View TV Amplified HD TV antenna. Now, you all y'all, everybody who knows already know I'm going tailgate next week. I'm going to see that Dallas Giants game. Get that bad boys popping. I got the Stormtrooper helmet that I'm gonna be all get all decorated up. And you're gonna see what that looks like. You know, I'm gonna be in full gear. You know, got my jersey ready. Got my Zeke jersey ready. I'm debating whether I'm gonna pop rock, rock the Zeke or the or the Dez or the Witten. Not sure, but it's gonna be one of them bad boys. You know, I'm gonna be grilling out there. You know, I got my got my Cowboys apron, which you know I should do a little review of this because I just got this bad boy. You know, I just might. Who knows? But um, this TV right here because I'm gonna be bringing the TV. And uh, we're gonna be uh, trying to uh, we're gonna be uh, trying to get the game in on there. This um, so with that being said, let's get into this bad boy. Okay, the reason why I got this one, this has a 60 mile radius, as it says here. Most of them that you buy usually have like a 25 mile radius. Even though I know that um, the TV station is probably about 10 miles from um, East um, Rutherford, New Jersey, where the Giant Stadium is. Um, but you know, 60 miles you can never go wrong. Maybe I'll pick up some Philly stations. Who knows? Uh, not that I would want to. You know, uh, why, why would I want to watch anything from Philadelphia? But anyway, no, no, I don't, I don't want to uh, shit on all my Philly fans. But you know, you know how it is. You know, I'm Cowboys baby, so you know I don't like. You know, I can't like the I can't like the Sheagles. And that's pretty much all it is. Other than that, Philly's a great place. This one is football season. This is how it has to be. So I'm sure you can understand because I'm sure you guys, are, I'm sure you Philly fans are talking crap about the Cowboys right now. We 11-1 though right now, baby. Next week, we're going to be 12-1. So let's get this going. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, here's the front of the box. Amplified HDTV antenna. View TV logo there. Uh, paper thin digital indoor um, HD antenna. Latest creative antenna technology. Okay. Got the HDTV compatible, compatible, um, compatible, ATSC, you know, compatible, whatever that means. Um, basically, in a box, you got your power brick, you got your um, power cord, and you got your connector to go to connect on the back of your TV, whatever that has you. Um, you, fair, uh, you get free view channels, full HDTV, um, 1080p, 1080i, and 720p support. And you have multiple in installation position. So, on this side of the box, just blue strip. Top of the box, blue strip. Other side of the box, blue strip. Bottom of the box, blue strip. Back of the box, a lot of information. You can pause it, zoom in on it, read it if you want. You already know how I do. I'm not reading it, but I'll kind of bring it in so that you can see some of it. Got some pictures there. Just showing you some stuff. That helps you out. Looks like it's a little bit of installation instruction, but whatever. You got that. You can pause it, read it. Bam, easy setup. Just like that. Got your barcode. Got your website and contact information should you want to complain about the company or whatever. And uh, that's how you get in contact with them. And that's everything that's in the package. And here goes your technical data. All right? And that's what she looks like. So, with that being said, let's get up in this box. Nothing else in the box there. Okay. Got the wires. It's already plugged up. Bam. Looks like it's a USB power. Yep, USB, uh, USB uh, power brick there. Here's your technical data on that. Should you wanna, you need to see that. Bam. More info on this side of the power brick. All right. So this is about how long the cord is. Cord seems to be about, uh, I wanna say about three, three feet long. A little bit more than the arm's length, so about three feet. Um, here goes your 
your TV adapter. This what plugs into your TV right here, into the antenna, into the TV, bam. Well, this part goes right here, I should say. This part right here goes into the antenna, and this part right here runs out to the TV. This clearly says it on the device there, so that way there's no confusing it. Over here is where you're gonna plug in your power, so your power is going in right here. It's kind of similar to anyone who's got to ever use a Chromecast. If you have a Chromecast, this hooks up is very similar. Okay, you can one part goes to the TV, one part goes to your power. The only difference is is that you have this going to the, this part right here going to the antenna to get the signal in. But cause we're obviously with the Chromecast, the signal is coming from wirelessly from your phone or your tablet or whatever. But um, so other than that, anyone who's hooked up a Chromecast can surely hook this up no problem. And this right here is some you know 3m sticky i'm assuming it's 3m it might not be it might be another company but it's similar to what it is use this to stick it to wherever you want to stick it to to for the best reception i'm going to have mine outside in the giant stadium parking lot so i'm sure it's gonna be no problem with reception there and then and then right here you got your nice long wire um, from the looks of it, it looks like it's probably about 12, 13 feet, 12, 13 foot wire there. So that's more than enough room to move this bad boy around. And here goes your little satellite. Got the View TV logo right there. It's paper thin, as you can see, literally paper thin. Like, it's got plastic on the back side there. I'm gonna leave that on there until I uh, actually hook it all up. Got your screws right there. That's how it's screwed in. And you got your long wire connecting down here this part right here screws into this part right here I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that in just knock it out the way there's one less thing I got to do later bam let's go ahead and knock that out bam so now everything's all set to go they got my I'm gonna have my generator popping this part right here is gonna be plugged into the generator bam this part's gonna be plugged into the generator and then uh, this part's gonna be plugged in the back of my TV. But for test purposes, I'm gonna test this bad boy out right now for you guys so you can see how she fares. So um, on the flip side, I'm gonna have the camera set up, pointed at the TV with this hooked up to it. And uh, we're gonna get this popping and see how she works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and, uh, and we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna get that popping. All right, I'm going to show you how I hook this up real quick so you see nice and easy, even though I did most of the work right here already for you. I'm going to, this part, I don't even need to show you. You know where, where this goes. This part plugs into your coax, you know, port on the back of your TV. And then, damn, you just got to run your setup on your TV to find your channels, whatever channels you're going to find. So, on the flip side, we're going to see, you know, this bad boy in action. So, see you on the flip. Okay, we back in. As you see right now, right now, we have no signal at all. But what I'm about to do is go to the settings, uh, go to the menu here, and run setup, and uh, see what we can uh, get popping here. Okay, broadcasting, and take air, auto program. Let's see what we can find. Start. How do you get your broadcast signal? I'm going to go with air right now. Okay, looks like we're pulling in um, some channels. See what we're getting here. Maybe we're pulling in some stuff, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I think I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I was supposed to go to a cable antenna because I'm, I hooked the cable antenna up to it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let this finish and then I'm going to come out and do it the other way and then we'll see. At 95%, 6, 7, 
Okay, nothing. Okay, so I think I need to change the settings and do both. Let me do cable. See what we're doing there. Okay, I definitely think I got it wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this and go back. Let's go back again and antenna cable, auto program, start. Let's do both and, and see what we get popping here. I got the thing right here. I'm going to move this around and see if this affects it any because right now nothing's happening so I'm gonna put this more up against the wall and see if anything shows up and now still got nothing popping up I'm beginning to wonder if this thing even works we shall see I'm gonna let it run its course I'm gonna forward through all this crap Well, so far we ran that whole check and we got nada. So we're gonna try something else. See what we can do on this one. Go back to source, TV. It has to be on. Accessibility setup. English. Next. Settings. You can connect your TV to the internet. It's already done that. Next. I know. Next. Next. Antenna. Air. Come on, give me some. Nothing. Maybe I can do it manually. gotta be something not, not going on here that for this to not work the way that's saying there's definitely power going to this Let's see if I can troubleshoot see what went wrong here power hooked up to the wire Maybe I did it wrong. This is going to an antenna. This is going to a TV. That's right, that's right. We definitely have enough power. Maybe this bad boy don't work. I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe it's the TV. Uh, let's try on a different TV. All right, hold on. Let me try on a different TV, see if we can get it to work. Okay, we're gonna try on this TV. I hooked up to a different TV this time. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get this bad boy going. Auto scan. See what we can find. Uh, One percent complete. So we're seeing if we're pulling up anything. Scan in there too. Not much going on there too. Maybe ask them to do. Maybe I need to remove the plastic off of this bad boy. Let me see if removing the plastic off of this works. I'm gonna pause it and come back. Okay, we st we at 25% now, and still nothing. So I'm gonna try pulling the plastic off of this and see if this makes a difference. That's what's keeping this bad boy from. I don't think that's what's going on here, but one never knows. Okay, I got the plastic off. So no more plastic on there, either side. Let's see if this makes a difference. You can see my reflection, me holding the antenna up different ways, trying to see if this will help bring in any signals, but nothing's going on here. I'm beginning to think that this doesn't work. And there it is, I tried on two different TVs. So it looks like we're done and we have no channels on this one either, which I can't figure out for the life of me why this isn't working, but I'm just going to chalk this up as a, uh, it doesn't work. So this really sucks because now I got to buy another one. So, um, Hey, it is what it is. I hooked it up to two TVs. As much as I would love to endorse this, I'm going to have to say that I can't because uh, I bought this on Amazon and I hooked it up to two different TVs. I followed the instructions. I actually read the instructions. You know how I do. I don't like to read the instructions, but I actually read the instructions. And uh, I even watched a video on YouTube with somebody else who uh, managed to get it working and I couldn't get it to work. So I guess it's just one of those situations where it's hit, on, hit or miss. So as for me, um, I'm going to say no. Even though the price is good at being only 21 bucks, I'm gonna say no, I can't recommend this. For, for that, but that's just me. So, I mean, there's other people out there that may find that uh, this works, but usually with a TV tuner, it's pretty cut and simple. You plug it up to your TV, and then you scan your TV and it picks up channels, just like you do it when you hook up a cable box. It's, it's the TVs do all the work. So I shouldn't be standing out there holding it up, trying to find reception. It just I mean, these things are designed to just be simple and work, but it's not working. So, I don't know what to do. Yo, we back in. As you see, right now, I literally had to go five miles from the towers where the, uh, the TV stations are. And now we're actually starting to pick up stations. Where I was doing it before, I was literally like 20 miles from the stations. And we weren't picking up anything. So, even though this particular um, antenna is rated for 60 miles. It could actually work for five miles really good because you see, we're actually starting to pick up channels. We got 18 digital. It's, we got 18 digital so far. So, as soon as it's finished uh, loading up, then we're going to look at some channels. So,
So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna come back in once it finishes loading up. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you guys with sitting there waiting for this whole shit to scan. So uh, I'll be back in, in a minute. Okay, we back in. It pulled in 60 channels. But keep in mind, we five minutes, I mean we five miles from the TV station towers. So you gotta take that with a grain of salt. The first time I did it, I did it on three TVs and I, I'm like 20, 25 miles away. I'm like 20, 25 miles away and it was pulling in no channels from, from 20, 25 miles away. Right now I'm five miles away and I pulled in 16 channels. I mean 60, 60 channels. So when buying this, you gotta take that into consideration. So this will be great like if you tailgating because wherever you tailgating is gonna be in a major city most likely and you're not gonna be far from where the TV stations are. So this will be great for that. But if you're using this as your primary TV in your house, unless you live close to where the TV stations are, like close to a city or something, like a major city or something like that where they're broadcasting, I would say not get this one. But if you are close to one, then this is perfect for you because you see what I'm looking at right now. This is crystal clear HD TV. All right? And this is a generic HD TV we're looking at right now. All right? I'm tailgating right now at the at the Cowboys Giants game and we out in the parking lot and I decided to run this thing this view TV out in the parking lot just to see if I'm pulling in stations and you see this is crystal clear out in the field but in my house I was getting nothing so if you're a tailgater or if you live close to the city then this is perfect but other than that I would say Look for another device. So, with that, with that being said, I'm Dap Brunez. This has been the official review of the View TV HD TV amplified antenna. Um, if you're out in the field or you're close to a city where they're broadcasting uh, the st TV stations, definitely get this. But other than that, look for another one. With that being said, I'm out this piece.